What's up guys, Highway of the SCS Dawn of Dawn here. Uh, today I have a loadout to show you. So this morning they released a patch that uh, allows me to uh, actually play with this build. Uh, we're just going to do this geological survey uh, mission. So this build was crashing the game before. Uh, however, this morning they said they patched it and it no longer does so. So we're going to run it and I'm going to show you how to how to have a great time with it. It's really good for just generally clearing bugs for our stratagems. We're going to do the Eagle 500 kg and the basic Eagle airstrike. Uh, we are going to run the guard dog rover and the arc thrower. And then for our booster, we're going to run the stamina enhancement. Now on our actual equipment side of things, we're running the trailblazer scout, which is the faster movement speed, less visibility uh, for the enemies. We are running the sickle primary, the redeemer secondary and the stun grenade as the uh the grenade slot all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop in and uh i'm gonna talk to you more about this build and show you how i play with it this is so low on hell diver difficulty this build however works very very well in a uh in a stack in a group it also works well with randoms just be careful not to kill your teammates too much the trick to avoid killing your teammates with the arc door is uh that the arcs will always go behind the enemy you're shooting so if you're standing you know if there's a teammate in front of you and there's enemies chasing him you can shoot the enemies chasing him and he should be fine as long as you don't like miss the enemy and hit him is that the radar station right there it is uh, it seems like a good place of any to like, start there's bugs just all over me here i don't like that All right, let's try to get this stuff. I see a bile titan in the distance already. This this looks like it's like gonna be a uh, difficult one for sure. So we got the stratagem uh, cooldown. Um, the stratagem cooldown or not cooldown. The stratagem call down time increase. There's something here. Trying to avoid all these enemies. Now, I know I said you can actually stand and fight with this build, which is 100% the case. However, the more time you spend actually trying to fight stuff, the less time you have to do the mission. So you want to still manage your time intelligently. We're going to call a resupply in here to grab my, uh, grab extra stims and an extra grenade and some primary ammo. Really, I, I hardly ever use my primary. The only time I do is for when stuff is like out of range of my arc thrower, which is pretty rare. The arc thrower has a longer range than people realize. Now, a lot of people have commented on my luck with Bile Titans in these uh, videos, how I don't get a ton of them. Uh, with this loadout, we're running the stun grenade, so it's actually not even an issue when you get the bile titans and I, i'm sure i'm gonna have to demonstrate that here judging by the fact we already have one as soon as the mission has started i'm actually gonna move a little closer to this bug breach uh just so i can have visibility on the bugs as they come out this loadout is really good for like i said standing and fighting um but you need to be able to actually see what you're shooting at in order to to do that so i'm just gonna keep moving around to places where I can see the bugs because you do need to focus hunters uh, with this loadout since we're not running the shield and in general you need to focus hunters anyway they're like the most deadly add I might say that uh the bile spewers can be almost as big of an issue if left unchecked uh, when they start to really come in numbers but the hunters, for the most part, are going to be your your biggest threat to any any hell diver. How'd you like to taste the freedom? Just making sure you focus them first and foremost. You know, they they do a lot of damage. They're very mobile. They have a slow. They have a lot of numbers. Get some, get some. They're kind of the all-rounder.
Uh, yep. So high ground's really good with this uh, build as well. Like I said, you can really clear out bugs with this this loadout between your guard dog rover and your art thrower. I mean, the bugs don't have a lot they can do against you. Uh, unless you make a mistake, so. Wait. There we go. So the like, there's two different sounds that play. The one, the first one I heard was the one it makes when you take the tower off of where it needs to be, which is why I stopped. The other one, it's like, honestly, they're not as distinct as I think they should be. Um, where's my resupply at? Didn't I call it down like over here-ish? It's actually kind of hard to remember. Um, yeah, I did. It was like this way. I'd like to grab my, yeah, here we go. Grab my, a stim refill before I, uh, well. Oh. Okay. Um, let's see. Where are we going to go now? Let's go hit this, uh, ore location right here. And then we'll go to the next, uh, oh, I'm bleeding. That's unfortunate. I wasted him on that. Um, we'll go to this ore location and then we'll <coughs> work our way over to the uh, first secondary. Probably. I don't know. Uh, so with this build, let's see, do we have any shrieker nests? No shrieker nests. That's, that's kind of lucky. Um, with this build, one of your weaknesses is shrieker nests. Now, to kill those, even though it's a weakness, you absolutely can still destroy them. Uh, the trick to fighting them, and I'll probably... What, I, what I'll probably do is I'll, I'm going to go and after I finish this run, I'm going to find... I'm going to go just like do missions where I find a Shrieker Nest and show how I threw them. Um, since we didn't get one here, and I want to make sure that, that everything that you need to know is kind of shown in the video. Uh... But basically what you do against the Shrieker Ness is you need to be close and so you need to just use your Eagles to break it. Uh, it's not as hard as it sounds because you can really beat up Shriekers. Uh... Whoa! Alright, we got two Bile Titans here on this... Uh... This primary. Really needed that 500 kg to kill one of them. Uh oh, that's a bad time for me to throw a grenade. Uh, no, don't ragdoll, dude. No, 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 no. All right, here we go. A lot of people commented on my luck with Bile Titans in the past two videos, so. This will hopefully put the rumors that I've paid off the Bile Titans to rest right here. Alright, one down. Do a little bit of kiting. Need to kill the hunters. Darn. That's tough. Too many hunters there. I should have used the stun grenades to give me room to actually kill some some hunters while I uh Oh I could. We're gonna call it Eagle Airstrike end right there. Whoa dude, whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool. That's another bile titan down. Move past these guys. Climb over the mountain of dead bile titans. Just keep 
putting in damage on this guy. No, I'm gonna die because I'm stuck here. God, that is luck right there. For sure. That was pure, pure luck for me. No, man. Why do I keep ragdolling on random crap? Can't stand it when that happens. All right, we're going to try to drop on him and just kill him. We didn't even manage to do that, unfortunately. Just stun him and grab our stuff, though. I didn't grab my art thrower. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 man. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, when you're using the art thrower, you can actually do good damage to the Bile Titans. However, the trick is to be on the same, like, uh, elevation as their head. Uh, which, obviously, I was not there, so... All right. Tough start. Tough start. We're going to use our armor and our movement speed and all of this lovely map terrain to give those bugs the slip. Hold on a resupply over there. Down equipment package. 22 seconds. We might have to fight off some hunters and such while we wait for it. Oh, the silly beast stepped on a hell bomb. Go knock out this other... other primary over here. You know, someone told me that they wanted to see me do this mission type on a solo run as well. They thought it was the hardest mission type. Uh, which I don't necessarily disagree with. I think the the hardest mission type, it's one I likely will never even bother to do solo, is the, uh, the emergency personnel evac one. I feel like that mission type is uh, very... Poorly balanced, to be frank. Uh, even with a group. If I'm not playing with like a group of friends that I know I can... Either rely on to run the exact correct things and do the exact correct things, or... Uh... Will at least listen to me tell them what to do. Then that mission will most of the time just be a... Like, lost cause. And that's with four people. So running it solo, not something I'm particularly interested in. I tend to avoid operations with that mission type, like, as is. And my eagles are back, which is good because I see a bell titan in the distance. God, a brute commander. Let's just add a couple chargers into the mix. Why not? And the Bile Titan is no longer in the distance either. Alright, so we're just clearing bugs and I mean there's not really anything crazy going on. 
Ah, uh, the second weakness of this build. I forgot about these things. So stalkers. For stalkers, they will absolutely mess you up on this build. So you gotta deal with them first. I should have paid closer attention to what secondaries there were. Had I actually used my eyes, I could have known that there were stalkers and that I would have to go deal with them. Um, the issue with stalkers is again, you don't have grenades here. So our way of destroying them is going to be the eagle airstrikes. Now trick for aiming eagle airstrikes um, into bug holes is that it will always go the eagle will always go perpendicular where you throw it. So if I throw it right like this, it's going to go left to right in relation to me or right to left. But it never goes like from behind me to in front of me. Like so you have to go to the side of the... Uh, you got to use keep that in mind when you're going to kill the, the bug holes. I'm actually going to switch to my primary. I have the best chance of actually killing the stalkers. Arc thrower is also not too good against stalkers. It, it can't uh, it can be but for the most part you're just gonna want to use your Your sickle and just knock them out Alrighty, let's go over there and take care of them The Redeemer is not too bad for taking out Stalkers too, but oh, I'm probably dead here. Never mind that first one died. I might be okay. Yeah, we're good. Feels good. Oh, really? Stupid map terrain. Probably have to kill more Stalkers. Oh, we're good. Just remember, it's gonna go left to right in relation to me. So, for example, if I want to break that bug hole, I have to like kind of throw it from this side. I'm gonna try this one first. Hopefully, that'll do the trick. All right, that's one down. Now we're gonna get the other one. To so break this one, I have to do it like this. Well, that sucks. I didn't even hit it. That's, that really sucks. Try it one more time. And if that doesn't work, the 500 kg, same thing. You can break the bug holes with that. Um, yeah did not work so we're gonna need to use a 500 kg on it probably a really big weakness with this build now a good way to resolve that um is to actually run the uh run like a either an auto cannon or a uh grenade launcher or an eat instead of the guard dog rover Usually I don't actually have this much problem clearing stalker nests, believe it or not. Um, the only reason I'm having problems this time is I didn't actually plan for it. I got the radar station and just forgot about them for whatever reason. Try that 500 kg, that'll usually do the trick. Yep, there we go. Okay, now my eagles are on cooldown. I gotta grab my... No, another one spawned still? It's gonna kill me because I ragged all too long. Oh man! Man, oh man. So annoying. So, so annoying. Uh, anyway, so the only reason why I'm having issues is because of bad planning. Which is why it's important to plan your moves. Um, now in my defense, I hadn't played this game in like a week and a half because of the crashing bugs that were going on. I kind of just stopped for a little bit because this is one of my favorite loadouts to actually run. 
So, you know, I, I'm warming back up is what I'm trying to say. Tagging map, southeast. It's like, it, it's an excuse, but it's also not an excuse. Like, uh, you know, I'm not saying that it's the game's fault that I'm playing bad by any means. It's definitely my fault. It's just the reason why I'm playing bad is just literally that I am not like warmed up. Um, that's not where my gear was. Where's my gear at? Dropping a there. Pin, northwest, 50 meters. I'm gonna grab my gear and then we're gonna head to the final primary. It's gonna be a little hard because I don't have any reinforces, but I'll get at least one before I. Uh, before I'm done here. There we go. My eagles are back. Got my reinforced back. I'm gonna resup right here. And we're going after the primary. All right, here we go. We have to deal with another bug breach. Hopefully it's not a three bile titan bug breach, but if it is, I'm ready for it. I got all my stun grenades. I have two 500 kgs. I've got my eagles. We're, we're looking good. Let's run on over and get it started. You know, it's, I feel like as a creator, it's tempting to really I feel like as a creator it's tempting to leave out uh playthroughs like this where i die a bunch and play poorly but in the interest of transparency i'm, I'm really not gonna do that to be honest i feel like uh, you guys should see that even when you play poorly this build is doable and in general this this whole game is like uh pretty doable all right there's one bile titan Not kill. There's one more stun on him. Here comes the cavalry. Have a taste of democracy. Should do the trick. Yep. Freedom forever. <clears throat> That was a much more manageable bug breach right there. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Alright, let's go knock out our three secondary objectives next. Uh, it's a little ways away from the next resupply. This, uh... This mountain is very, very annoying for traveling around. Okay. We're gonna get over to the Seaf Artillery. Be on my eagles while I'm running over there. It's kind of a far, far run to, to go, uh, to go for, so. Use more stims. I want to resupply as soon as I get in over here. Down I still haven't grabbed any super samples. Keep an eye out for those. Maybe I I probably have missed the rock at some point and someone in, in the uh, comments will point it out. Um, but... Uh, keep an eye out for it now. <clears throat> and I mentioned this in my last run as well. A lot of people comment like, he doesn't grab any samples and you know, that's like a big deal. But for me, I've already maxed everything out. 
I don't have anything to spend samples on. And I've already got like either at max capacity or close to max capacity on the samples. So I I just don't remember to grab them, especially the super samples. The super samples I have fully maxed out. Uh, there they are right there. We're gonna grab those on our way over. But yeah, it's not it's not so much that I'm like trying to avoid picking them up or I'm like uh you know doing it to save time or because I can't for whatever reason. I just literally forget to look out for them at times. Alright, got the super samps. I like that Battle Titan has been just like moving perfectly perpendicular to me this whole time. Like he, he knows I want to go for this artillery. He doesn't want me to do it. Luckily, the other two secondaries that we're next to are very easy. Tactical asset near your position. To clear with this, uh, this loadout. Alright, so a trick for this, uh... For this secondary that I actually don't see many people use even now. Is you can actually throw the artillery shells if you switch to your secondary while they're being picked up. So for example, if I want to throw this one, what I do is I just switch to my secondary while it's coming up out of my hand. That allows you to cover a lot more distance with these, these shells. Now you want to stack up five shells next to the gun before you hit the terminal. Because when you hit the terminal, it's going to call some, uh, some bugs in after you. So you want to stack them up right next to the thing. That way when you hit the terminal, you can load them all up really quickly and try to get out before those bugs become an issue. Let's see, I've now loaded the terminal up and now I'm just going to quickly shove all these in here. And see, I can already hear the bugs have sort of picked up on the fact that someone's here, but... Ideally, I can do this and just leave them in the dust. Because we're going to call it a breach if I don't, you know. Call it in the breach, but by the time I've finished the objective, it's too late for those buds to do anything. The only reason that was the case is because I set myself up for success. This is the other secondary. So for this one, we just need to look for the, uh, the building that has the little satellite dish on the top of it that one right over there i don't know if you can see it might be kind of hard to with the sports viewer and with youtube compression but we'll see don't want to go too close that way because that's the outpost and we can't do anything about outposts it's this one right here so we're gonna uh drop that down And then just knock the sports viewer out while we're here as well. Okay, that somehow didn't break that building. I don't know how. I'm just gonna rock. I don't like this. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna try to actually like kill all these bugs that are chasing me because I just I know there's gonna be a lot of them. And I'm playing like closer to what I should be, how I should be playing with like the grenade launcher build. But with this build, we don't want to get surrounded by bugs, which it looks like it's going to happen anyway because I ran into a bunch of hunters, but... Because we don't have the shield generator like we do on the grenade launcher build, we want to actually be during the bugs as they come. Little high grounds, I think I already said this once, but little high grounds like this really make this build shine and allow you to knock them all out. Alright, so we didn't actually clear this uh, this secondary over here. I don't know what happened to my hell bomb. I thought I threw it perfectly on that the building, but not my hell bomb, my 500 kg I should say.
Now I have had a bug before. It's only happened a couple times, but I have had a bug before where for whatever reason that that building becomes like invincible to the 500 kgs and instead I have to actually call in a hell bomb to break it. Uh, it's not super common, but it has happened. So maybe that's what we're dealing with. I guess we'll find out. All right, that should be a perfect toss. <clears throat> that should 100% take out that building right there. You will never destroy our way of life. Yeah, okay, we're good. All in a resupply here. <clears throat> I'm gonna look around for samples while I'm uh, waiting on that resupply. I need that resupply, so I'm gonna stick around here and try to kill these bugs so I can grab it. Actually, I can. That's closer than I thought it was. I'm gonna grab it and just go. Alright, last primary coming up. We got 10 minutes left, uh, plus the two minutes it takes for the drop to come in, and the drop is relatively close to the, uh, the primary, so should be plenty of time left we're gonna grab the samples there's usually a decent amount of samples close to the sports viewers grab some of these only two three okay that's, that's fine Use a rock to break line of sight with those bugs back there. And just keep on running. They should lose track of me here in just a moment. Probably already have, but... <clears throat> yeah, they're not even close to me anymore. Okay. <clears throat> Last primary coming up, boys. Let's go and take care of it. I see a charger already. Probably gonna have to fight a bug breach here. Say la vie, say la vie. Let's say I can climb this rock here and maybe get a nice vantage point from my arc thrower. Nope, I cannot. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm See, I needed to recharge my eagle real quick. So while I have like at least Not a today. second to do it, I'm going to go ahead and do it. We're going to kite this way. Eagle 
to come back so we can 500 kg this pile titan here. Meantime, we're just clearing out the ads, hiding them around. We have a reinforced back. seconds on the eagle if I can't start this I'm dropping my resupply to the west and just keeping it in mind so that if I need to kite away from whatever comes from this bug breach, I know where I can find more more supplies. How'd you like to taste of freedom? Administering freedom. Let's do a quick little kite away from the bug breach. We still have six minutes worth of time. We've got plenty of time, so I don't want to rush this and put myself in a bad position for no reason. Let's circle back to the objective. I hear another Bile Titan over there. Sure do. There's two of them over there in fact. Another bug breach. Yes, yeah, so this is why a lot of people think that this is the hardest uh, mission type right here. Whoa, what just happened to me? Probably gonna kill me, in fact. Oh, maybe not, who knows. Okay, now I think for the last button on this, we just have to go and hit W three times. Like WD, WD, WD. Or just WD, WD, W, I guess. If I recall correctly. Oh, spiky, spiky plant. Hate those things. Well, this should put the rest the uh, a lot of the Titan, vile Titan luck things that people were talking about. I'm gonna get him to spit so I can just go and quickly and I'm out. Alright, so we got a minute 45 of game time to kind of run out. Um, the reason why I'm gonna let this run out is because what I can do is I can be far from the extraction and have all these bugs on me and then when this time runs out i'll be able to run to the extraction and uh 
the bugs will not be at the extract when I get there. Making it the most likely situation where I actually get out with the samples. I do need this resupply though, so. Should be able to get away. Dropping a pin, north, three hundred meters. Now, big reason why you want to let the timer run out all the way as well is because you will get overwhelmed eventually if you try to just extract traditionally. Okay, we have a hell bomb here. Um, like eventually the bugs will just overwhelm the circle when you're running solo and you can't do anything about it really. So we're gonna play this nice and slow, nice and patient. If these battle titans move towards me, I'm gonna use this hell bomb to kill them. Uh, but otherwise we're going to hang out here and actually I might not even bother. I might just run away from him. He might hit the hell bomb on his own. That would stop me from getting like spotted. Yep. That's good. But we're just hanging out here for a little bit. The other thing too is we have the increased call down time, which makes it even harder to extract. So we're going to hang out and just wait for the extraction to come. Move away from all these bugs. Use my radar to my advantage here. Yep, just hanging out, playing it nice and stealthy. ETA, T minus two minutes. Another hell bomb right there I can use if that Titan decides to walk over my way. step on it. ETA, There's a lot of bugs over there. I need to run away to despawn them from the uh the extract zone it might be too late to be honest I might have to extract with a bunch of bugs over there let's see if I can get a bug breach to get called in right here might despawn those bugs from the drop zone, which would be huge for me. I couldn't vault that. No way. No, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, we're good.
Right, we should be good. Pelican takes a little bit to actually land. Please no, please no, please no. Okay, we're good. We're good. I really was hoping that Pelican would not shoot me, but not the cleanest extraction ever, and not the cleanest mission ever. But uh, you know, we we made it work. Um, as I get worn back up, we'll have much cleaner missions for more loadouts coming. I want to do a turret only loadout as well. But uh, let me go and I'm going to see if I can find a shrieker nest to clear for you guys to tack on to the end of this video so that you can see how to do that as well. Um, since this build obviously not very good for clearing shrieker nests. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. All right, guys. So I got this quick little recording while I was uh, running around trying to find it. Uh, I was talking to friends, so I'm just going to voice over it after on the recording here. Uh, but big thing with the loadout is that I can't destroy shrieker nest with any of my weapons which means i have to rely on my eagle right so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna pick apart the shriekers as we approach a uh, tip for fighting the shriekers themselves you don't want to actually kill them when they're really close to you because their body will fall on you and one shot you, you see i've thrown my eagle here so it's gonna end up probably breaking one of those towers there it goes so that's one down i need to go break the other one uh, but there's a lot of bugs so i end up kiting for a little bit here but as I was saying, when you're fighting the Shriekers, you don't actually want to shoot them when they're too close. Like right there, if I had killed that Shrieker, it would have killed me because of the body falling. Instead, the best way to actually fight the Shriekers is when they're getting close to you like that, you want to just sprint directly away from them. And when you sprint directly away from them, it makes it harder for them to hit you. Like you want to be going in a straight line away from them. Makes it a lot harder for them to hit you. And then after they do their diving attack and they go back up into flight, you can then shoot them out of the air uh with less risk um you probably hear my my uh destroyer ship in the background as well as i still have hell divers open but uh anyway so now we're moving on um i'm fighting these bugs we kill the bile titan uh, i softened them up with the arc door a little bit to make it easier for my 500 kg to finish them off we're in a strafe back around I do end up dying to this Shrieker right here. Maybe not right there. Hang on. I, I end up dying here in just a moment to a Shrieker. And then I have to uh, go back and, and bomb the tower. I really was just trying to quickly get this done. So this Eagle, I threw right at the base and it bounced off, which made it so that my Eagle didn't actually kill that tower. And then I die to the Shrieker here. Uh, so instead, what I end up doing is I drop down. And I just make sure, again, I was really just recording this so I could knock out this, uh, this demonstration for you. Um, like I said, I would, but I'm going to drop back down. I'm going to actually make sure I get nice and close to it. And I'm going to throw it at the base this time, straight around this, uh, this guy. All in my Eagle and it's going to go right there at the base. And now this time it should absolutely take it out. I get stuck here and I die, but you can see that the objective has been completed so that is how you deal with the shrieker nests um just use your eagles and make sure you're taking out the shriekers as they're flying around okay hope you guys enjoyed follow me for more hell divers uh tips